and how I'm trying to stay productive, positive, and cope. I don't know if I'm like an expert on all these things because I definitely have my days where this is not easy. Like yesterday <laughs> where I kind of hit a bit of a breaking point of like this really fucking sucks. But here we are having a good morning. Took my dog to the groomer. Got some Dunkin' coffee, did some homework, cleaned my room, and we're gonna make the most of this weekend. We truly are because what else is there to do in a pandemic, you know? What else are we gonna do? It is insane how much a good sweat can just change your mood. I feel so good right now. So good. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Hi, Emma's vlog. This is Max. I'm Olivia, her sister. Uh, you probably already know that because I was in another vlog. But um, what the tea is, we're going to pick up Tori from the groomers. It's kind of rainy, so she might be a little muddy. Me and Max just took a math test. We, we did castle homemade learning. Pizza going. Oh, he, Max is making homemade perfect. pizza. Um, me and Max just failed the math test so on that online school, period. <laughs> the car right now this angle is really not the cutest but i didn't know where else to put the camera right now my sister and i are on our way to her friend max's house to go on a social distancing walk with his dogs he has two puppy corgis and they're so cute and fun to walk so we're gonna go walk with them and i am probably when we get home we're gonna probably be close to dinner it's like 3 45 right now we walk for like 45 minutes to an hour come home eat dinner i'll probably do a little bit more homework i want to start a paper because i planned it all out earlier as i 
as you saw before so I want to start writing it because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty lengthy and then I don't really have any other plans tonight because we're in quarantine but I'm reading a pretty good book right now so I definitely want to read a few more chapters of that because it's kind of picking up and getting like more interesting and then I'm also doing a Netflix party with my friends I think we're gonna start the show The Outer Banks on Netflix if not we're probably gonna watch a movie but I'm really excited to do that I really love doing Netflix parties obviously it's not the same as watching movies in person with everybody but it's still really fun to have a Netflix party so that is our plan for the day the rest of the day it's like the middle towards the end of the day but what you'll see next is walking with some really cute dogs so stay tuned walking around Oakwood Cemetery. We're on a scavenger hunt and we have two more things left to find on our scavenger hunt and we're competing against family friends. It's like they're on another team. We have to find a mausoleum and a bridge and it's a specific mausoleum. <laughs> vibes, vibes all around. Update, we got one out of two of our last things. We just need to find this mausoleum and I think we're going to approach it and then hopefully we bring home the gold. Anything to say? I'm over this shit. Our legs hurt and there's many, many gnats. Over and out. We finished our scavenger hunt, beat the other team, period. Really, really fun, actually, because it's such a beautiful day outside and it was so fun, like, trying to, like, find everything. I literally felt like a little kid again. It was literally so fun. I'm pretty sure I got sunburn. Classic.
outside on my back porch. I'm watching Tori run around. We just fed her, so she's probably gonna, you know, do her business and then we'll walk her later, but I just can't go on another walk right now because I walked like two and a half miles this morning with my friends and then we walked um, around the cemetery today doing our scavenger hunt and walked like another three and a half miles. So I just need to give my feet a bit of a break before I take her on another walk tonight. But it's been a really good day of walking around, soaking up the sunshine. I obviously soaked up a little too much because I have a really bad sunburn and it feels very burnt. But it was a very good day, a very good day of getting our vitamin D in, a very good day of exploring and being with, you know, good people, obviously social distancing, but just really miss people and being outside like and not having to worry about how close I am to other people. We were talking to this couple while we were on our scavenger hunt and we had like maybe a 10 minute conversation with them, but about like our hometown and like our city and like just bonding over where we grew up. And it was just really nice to talk to other people, especially after being cooped up, but we were obviously like far apart, but it was just really nice to talk to them and like know that even though sorry there's a bee even though like they're like many years older than us and like whatever like we're have stuff in common because we grew up in the same city which is really nice and i don't know i just had a really good day i like i mentioned probably before in this video um i hit like a breaking point with this whole quarantine on thursday and it was really sad about like everything that's going on and like everything that like i can't do and that everyone I miss and like obviously like the fact that there's a deadly virus like I was just really sad but this weather today and like being around my family and my dogs and friends dogs it's just been really really nice and I'm really grateful to like obviously I still have like some schoolwork to do and that's kind of stressing me out and like giving me a bit of anxiety and like freaking out a little bit about that but I feel like this weather and taking time to like relax and like walk around and like be active and do things that I like to do are really helping me recharge and reset and I'm just really grateful for this day <clears throat> and this time I'm having and I'm gonna stop rambling and you'll see what I end up doing by the next clips.